God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The life of Jesus Christ is eternal life. A life without Jesus Christ, condemnation, torment, hell. And yet Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That if we were to believe on his merits, his finished work, we can attain eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That it is a gift of God. And that the gift of God is the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. There is a gift. For God so loved the love of God that he gave. And the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Religion is not the gift of God. Doing good is not the gift of God. Ignoring God is not the gift of God. Jesus Christ is the gift of God. And that without Jesus Christ, there is no life. And we Christians that are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, we are called to preach the gospel. We're not called to feed the homeless. No, that's good. We are called to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I'm not here to invite you to church. Because if I invite you to church and you say, well, preacher, I'll go to church, you may die tonight before tomorrow morning before church. And when... You die without Jesus Christ with the assumption, well, I'll go to church Sunday morning, and you die without faith and belief in Jesus. You can think about going to church all you want. You'll die and go to hell. It's not going to church that saves you. It is faith and belief in Jesus Christ that saves and that without Jesus Christ, there is a hell. And I know hell's not popular to preach. I know hell, but it's a biblical fact that even Jesus Christ himself preached about hell. Hell is a real place as much as heaven's a real place as Jesus is real and Satan is real. And that death is real. And you cannot pass up the assumption of death when you drive by a cemetery. You can't say, well, you know, there's no death, I'm not going to die passing by a graveyard. As much as there are people who are afraid to die, and that fear of death is into God. The fact is that, you know what? What is death? What happens after death? And there are some people that believe that, you know, when I die, that's it. Life is over with. That's a good belief. But that's not a biblical stance. You can believe whatever you want to believe. It's America. But the thing is, what 
does the Bible say? And if the Bible says something, then guess what? God said it. From a King James Bible, we have the Word of God. And the Word of God may differ from what you believe. And I'm not here with Aesop fables. I'm not here with Harvard's, you know, 40 foot shelf or whatever it be. I'm not here with Shakespeare or movies or Hollywood. I am here by what God said through his King James Bible and that there is a death. And that your beliefs may be quite different from what God says. And there is a conflict. Because what you believe is against what God says, you're at fault. Because God's the Almighty. You're not. And if God says there's a heaven and there's a hell, I don't believe in such thing. You're in error. And the moment that you die, the split second that your soul leaves your body, then you'll find out the truth. And by then, it's too late to realize that your thinking has gone against God. And the fact is, Jesus, who is God, has preached in his earthly ministry about hell. And I know there are churches that erase hell. Jesus did not erase hell. That Jesus, the purpose of his birth, the purpose of his life, the purpose of his death upon Calvary, and the purpose of his resurrection is that he said in Luke, he came to seek that which is lost. And that the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? A place called hell. And hell's not a place where you're going to party. Hell in the Bible is a place of torment. And heaven is the complete opposite of hell. And there is a billion trillion ways to go to hell. But there is one way to get to heaven. And the way through the door of heaven is through Jesus Christ alone. You cannot approach God and say, God, look how good I am. And a lot of people come up to me in my years of ministry and say, well, I'm a good person. And it may be true. But when we weigh you against Jesus, then you're in trouble. Because your good cannot outdo the good of Jesus Christ. For one thing, Jesus is God and you are not. Jesus was sent by God, you were not. 
Jesus is the propitiation of God for sinful man. You are not. And when Jesus shed his blood, he shed the blood of God. Your blood is not God's blood. The perfect, sinless blood without spot, the blood of God, it was in and shed by the veins of Jesus Christ upon Calvary. And in man's blood is diseases and, and problems and troubles and that's not in the blood of Jesus that suffered and died according to the scriptures. There's only one thing we can do according to scriptures. The wages of sin is death. We can die perfectly. And we're going to die one day. And Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried as we will be buried. But three days and three nights he arose again. You're not coming out of that grave in three days and three nights. Now unless the rapture happens, but that's for Christians. By the sure mercies of God, you can be saved today by believing on what Jesus Christ done alone. Not what you can do. I'm not here for a Baptist church. I'm not here for a Catholic church. I'm not here for the Pentecostal church. I'm not here for any church. I'm here for Jesus Christ. No church was nailed upon the cross for you. Now, church is for a place after you're saved. When you believe on Jesus Christ and get saved, you are part of the church. But the church is not salvation. Baptism is to be done after salvation. Baptism is never done for salvation. There are people in hell who went to church. There are people in hell who, who were baptized. And they are in hell because they rejected the free gift and the love gift of Jesus Christ. And that if you put your faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone, nothing else, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. For six years we've been at this farmer's market. And for six years we preached Jesus. On that radio, on the sound system, they got to play different songs. They got to play different tunes to catch your attention. But we have the same Jesus. And the same Jesus is able to save the same sinner. Jesus Christ. In his words, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You say, well, preacher, I'm good. No, Jesus said he's the way. He didn't say, okay, I'm the way and be good. He didn't say that. Well, teacher, I'm a member of such and such church. 
Jesus did not say he is the way and be a member of such and such church. Well, Jesus, I give money. Jesus did not say he is the way and give money. Jesus said he is the way. There is no other way. There is no Jesus in anything else or anything else but Jesus. And that's it. And you can live your life as wonderful and great as your life can be and you can die without Jesus and end up in hell for all eternity. Or you can live a most miserable life and have faith and trust in Jesus and die and go to heaven. That Jesus saves. Only Jesus saves. 